it's very surprising. Uh, I mean, what, what episode are we on now? Like, are, are we? We're 36. over forty. Of, okay. It's crazy that me and you have made it to thirty-six episodes without any form of major conflict. Like we, we haven't have gotten aligned interests, right? Yeah, we haven't gotten in any big fights or anything yet. We have a line interest. That's what they mean by saying that a business, a friendship based on business is superior to a business based on friendship. Mm -hmm. We that have a line interest. That's why Ex we don't fight. Can you expand on the aligned interest part a little bit more? Because there are a lot of these other podcast hosts where they have the same aligned interest of a podcast, but they get into arguments and such. Uh, can you expand on that? They aren't businessmen. They're just a bunch of people who are talking and they happen to be running a podcast. They don't think like businessmen. They don't really get it. They don't get what they're doing. They don't understand that a podcast is produced for an audience. Even though we are just talking, this is still going to be heard by people. And they, a lot of these people who are running podcasts, they're like children who let their emotions get involved with everything. So for example, you might see something I completely disagree with and I'm going to be like, okay, I disagree with that, but it, it, it's not going to impact my emotions. But with these guys, it does. Because mm. they are like children. They, are, they aren't they are long-term thinkers. They don't understand what they are doing. They're just doing it, and they're randomly getting popular for whatever reason. Maybe the algorithm, maybe they're interesting to listen to, maybe they're humorous, whatever reason, but they're not long-term thinkers. And that's why they get into weird conflicts with people. Oh, yeah. I could do a podcast with a feminist and the feminist would get mad and I'd be like, yeah, okay. I disagree <laughs> with you. Well, that's what happens to a lot of these boy bands and these music groups where they're popping for a while and then suddenly they have this very acrimonious breakup. And it's like, what? Like, we really thought you guys were going to be together for the long run. And they just split up out of the blue moon. What's a good example of this that me and you both know? Let me think. It'll probably come up um, throughout the episode. I, I think with these band type of people, what happens is that they all start out as equals, right? Mm -hmm. Where every band member has equal status, you could say. But really, for any organization to survive the long run, you need to have some kind of hierarchy where in the event of a dispute, you go with X person's opinion. And when you don't have that, at some point you have an impasse where two people disagree and they don't agree. There's, there's no compromise that can be reached. And then the organization just breaks up. Right. So this type of stuff happens between, say, there's a, there's a business and, you know, the guy has two sons, the two sons inherit his business and the two sons fight and the business has to be split in two. Because while the father was still around, the f when the sons were having a dispute, the father had veto power and he could decide, okay, we're going to do this. But now you have no hierarchy, you have equals, and no organization survives a lot of equals. You need to have structure, you need to have a mini dictatorship. And ideally you want a benevolent dictatorship, right? Where I say, for example, I consider other people's opinions, but at the end of the day, if I disagree with them, what I say happens. Or opposite, say, for example, if I'm a junior partner, then what I'm saying is going to be considered. But it might, what I'm thinking or what I'm saying might not actually be the action the company takes. So a hierarchy is necessary. And a lot of these groups, these music groups, companies, they're, they're a bunch of people where they think they're all, they're, all of them are the leader of the group. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't because it's fine when everything is going well. You don't realize it because you're all agreeing. But you need to figure out what happens when you disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the most recent examples, have you heard of the group called Migos? I have not. Uh, Versace, Versace, that song. Well, uh, they, they created a lot of these amazing songs throughout the 2010 decade and they broke up recently and it was just like wait what like why did they break up for and there was some rumors going around that one of the members slept with the other members former girlfriend 
And that's one one thing I've noticed a lot. When you're too buddy buddy with someone, it leads to these unnecessary stuff. Where me and you, we're buddy buddy, but we're not like like after these episodes, we're like, hey, how harsh, like how's your day going and stuff. Where there's certain boundaries as well, and then we're catching up in these episodes. So I believe another good way to stay the long term is, sure, you could be friends, but you don't want to be too cl- too close. If that makes sense. You don't want to get involved in people's personal life, right? It just doesn't produce good outcomes. It just doesn't. Did you ever have uh, any sort of betrayal from business partners? Not yet. Thankfully, not yet. Did you ever have any form of betrayals? Nothing serious. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I've had like stupid betrayals in like college and student days type of things where, for example, I didn't do homework and someone told the teacher, but... <laughs> harsh, harsh copied. <laughs> yeah, nothing serious, nothing serious. Interesting. I typically vet people thoroughly before I do partnerships with them. One thing I've noticed with social media, though, is that loyalty is not something that's rewarded a lot. Nowadays, a lot of individuals they'll collab with someone and when the person that they collabed with is getting hated on by the masses let's say they're in some sort of scandal this person uh, will like start making uh, like reaction videos to the person that they just collabed with (laughs) it's like what are you doing bro it's like uh, in social media age loyalty is not rewarded yeah a lot of these social media influencers are the spiritual equivalents of prostitutes (laughs) 